Hey guys, what is up? Spartan85 here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. I wanted to make kind of a quick tutorial on the game for some of my community that, you know, they've watched me play Seven Days to Die for so long and now they're watching me play Ark and they want to play with me or they want to play along. I figured I'd make a little quick tutorial for the people that want to play along. First of all, first thing to do, the volume in the game is super loud, so I usually go to music volume. I have it turned way down. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit more. Uh, they really like their music in this game, so um, do that first. Now, there's a couple. what you want to do, if you just want to play by yourself, you can go to host local. If you want to join our server, I'll show you where it's at real quick. You go to join ARC. This is the main menu. Go to join ARC and go to PVE. And I'm on Xbox, I should say, too. This is an Xbox kind of playthrough. But yeah, if you want to join our little, uh, whatever you call it, our little community server, you go to PVE, go all the way bottom, all the way to the bottom. And um, it's called PVE Xbox Official 5, something 556. But let's see if I can find it here. There it is right there. Xbox Official, the island 556. There's actually eight people in there. So that's pretty cool to see that. So that's that's the if you just click A and then you click join. So join in right there, it'll spawn you in, hopefully somewhat close to us. Check out the Discord and my Facebook page for the map of where we're at, and you're welcome to set up shop close to us. So but if you just want to play a local game or we're gonna play along on the contractor series, here is the host kind of game right here. So I'll show you a couple settings that, that I use. Uh, difficulty, I have it turned up just a, t just a tad, just to, I don't know, just to have a little bit of fun. But you can keep it, I think, defaults, like right here, 0.3, I think. So I go, I'll go 0.5, just for the tutorial. So everything else right here, I kind of keep the same. Go down the taming speed, I crank that up. Uh, that's going to help, obviously, tame the dinosaurs faster. Um, like a Carnosaur the other night, uh, 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 it took us three hours to tame, so... A Stegosaur takes about the same, about two hours to tame, so this will knock it down quite a bit. So if you're, especially if you're playing by yourself, and you don't have a bunch of friends helping you tame these things. Uh, definitely one to look at. Dino harvesting damage, I turn that up to 4.3. It's, um, we turn the harvest, the player harvest up too. Just a little, it makes it, I don't know, makes it a little better. Um, when you're chopping down trees and harvesting, it just... This game is a grind. Lots of grinds. So there's player harvesting damage. I turn that up to 3.9. Uh, dino count, we keep about 0.8. Too many is going to be... You'll die every time you go into the forest or the redwoods or anything like that. So I turn it down to 0.85 is what I do. Like I said, player harvesting damage is 3.9. It helps out just harvesting and stuff like that. So most of this I think we kind of leave alone. Uh, disable friendly fire I have turned on. Um, there is one, there's a gamma setting in the main game that I'll show you guys. I'll try to remember to show you guys too. They can, the gamma in this game is very bright, very, very bright. There's other speeds, other things you can do. There's baby mature speed. There's poop intervals. If you're trying to harvest more poop, mating interval, stuff like that. You can mess with all these settings, but I do. Oh, one thing I did do is a nighttime speed as I bump that up to three. It speeds up the nights a little bit more. That way you're not, I don't know, this kind of helps out. For recording on my on my end, I can make uh, longer videos. So uh, let's jump in. I'm gonna do the island, and I'm gonna do create. Uh, I'm gonna host a non dedicated session. From what I've read and seen online, the play single player is kind of buggy, kinda. And this way, if you ever want to have one of your friends join you in your world, you can have them join you. So let's jump in. And this part here, you can create your character. You can kind of mess around if you want to make them. You know, you can give them a big head if you want, a like a like that. You can give them a big, you know, forehead. Whatever you want to do, you can kind of mess around with that. But um, here's the here's the spawn zones. So if you want it, if you're playing on our server, I recommend probably spawning zone number two. That's closest to our base. So let um, that's and it's not a bad place to spawn. Any of these south zones will be just fine. Um, that one's a little further east. That's closer to like Herbivore Island and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's spawn here. Maybe I'll get close to where our base is. Let's, uh, create new survivor. Let's jump in. I've been waiting for. 
This is a little uh, intro. You can watch it if you want. I'm going to skip it. I've seen it so many times, but you guys can watch the intro if you want. Kind of explains a little bit about what's why you're here and why you're trying to kill a bunch of dinos. Now, there is a chance when you spawn in, you will get killed. Uh, this game, and you need to... Uh, one thing that's hard for me to take up with this game is you need to embrace dying. You have to embrace... There's, I mean, there's a gator right there. Uh, that thing will kill me instantly, so let's get away from him. But you have to embrace die. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's it's hard for me to do. Very hard. Okay, so here is... Uh, if you look over here, this island, this is the base that me and Steve are building our base at in Contract, in the Contractor series. So uh, let's jump over there sometimes you got because this is kind of a dangerous beach let's just head over there real quick i want to get away from this gator too once in a while you'll have a raptor over here too on the, oh yeah, i'm getting hit by a piranha oh look at that i died already i told you you got to embrace dying in this game you have to embrace dying let's spawn in that same area let's try it again now, when you die, you drop everything. You literally drop everything in this game. So, over there is our island. This is where we... And this is a death beacon right here. So, if you do have a lot of stuff when you die, you'll want to go back and grab that. So, um, let's try to cross one more time. I'm a, I'm a stubborn guy. Is that a beaver? Oh, that is a beaver. Wow! Oh, I didn't think he's biting my ass. <laughs> Embrace dying, guys. Embrace dying. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> that is probably that's probably rule number one with this game. Rule number one with this game is embrace dying. Probably the second rule is. Um, if you keep dying doing one thing, then don't do that again, like I keep doing. But that is about one of the best places to cross. Uh, I did level up. You can see up top. There's that beaver again. Okay, we're going for it. The piranha right there. And normally I would be trying to grab my, my inventory. Um, but I'm not. There's, third, there's our third death right there. <laughs> All right, well, normally I would try to get to this island, uh, but I was you can see I'm failing. I just keep spawning next to this beaver. This is, this is a beaver. Okay, here's an Ankylosaur right here. Really, uh, actually, that's a turtle. I'm sorry, that's a turtle. Uh, passive, they leave you alone. Level six. We might try to tame her in a minute. Uh, there's a Pterodon there. They're pretty harmless. Let's go a little bit over here and try to cross. This island over here isn't bad either. Not a bad island. Let's try to cross right here. And the reason I like this island over here is it's fairly it's fairly safe. Once in a while you'll have something cross over. But I think we're fine. So first things first, once you find kind of where you want to set up shop. And that can be right where you spawn if you want. Just uh we gotta start gathering resources. So hit Y um on these little things right here these I have these little plants they give you fiber and berries um so gra we'll grab a bunch of these right here leave that guy alone over there let's punch a tree get some wood see how you can see the tree fell really fast because i have a uh, harvest speed turned up we're getting thatch and wood we also need to find some stones on the ground so walk around find these little stones some of them you can't pick up they're kind of hard to find, so sometimes. Uh, yep, yeah, I hear you. Hey, you're gonna leave me alone, right? I'll leave you alone. You leave me alone. Let's try to find some stones, though. We need some to make. Um, there's not one there. Oh, one other thing I didn't show in the the uh, settings was I also turn up um, hunger and thirst. I make it so you're not thirsty as much, basically. So because. That in the normal game, you are dying of hunger and thirst a lot pretty early. So if you're trying to learn the game, I recommend turning that slider up so you're not hungry as much. 
I just rec something I recommend. Now you push B to a in access your inventory. This is all stuff that comes with Game Pass. I'm going to drop all this stuff. Push left trigger to drop stuff. There's all your berries that I picked up, thatch and wood. And you can go to crafting. Here's the stuff we want to craft initially. So it's going to tell you you need one stone. That's the pickaxe. And then this is the torch. So it's nice to have at night. So let's try to find one rock. I'm kind of struggling finding a rock. I think this island isn't the best place to find them, possibly. And that's like, these are like seashells. Yeah, I'm not, not finding them. Oh, we got a triceratops on the island with us. Cool. All right. I'm still trying to find a stone. So, there it is, the Triceratops. They're fun to tame. They're very good, uh, very good protection animals. Uh, they'll kill just about anything in the game. Oh, there's a dodo. All right, well, we do have two skills points to use. I still haven't found a stone. I'm walking around this island trying to find a stone. I'm going to have to go, I think, across to that other island to find a stone. I think this island just sucks for it. But stamina and weight are very good things to er do early game. And so once you upgrade those, it'll have, like, your engrams. These are everything you can unlock to build. So I'm going to do campfire, stone hatchet, spear, and we're going to make some clothing too. So we'll unlock all that. Water skin's not bad if you want to make a water skin. Um, it, most of the time you're near water though, and you can just drink right out of the, basically the ocean right here. You can drink salt water. Uh, so let's just do that. Take a drink. You push Y, take a drink, and you're filled up. So here's a bunch of stones here. We got some of these. Just push Y to pick up your stone. Let's run back to this island real quick, just because I know it's somewhat safe. I kind of know what's on the island. So that's why we're going, going over here. So let's hit B again. And you're going to go to crafting, and we can make a stone axe now. And you're just going to hit R to craft one. You can also hit X to craft five, or Y to craft all, all that you can. So... Go to inventory, and then you can double tap it to bring it down to your inventory fast if you want. Um, so I'm going to hit double tap. It takes it down to your first slot, or you can hit A and select what slot you want to take it down to. We leveled up again, so let's go, um, let's go stamina again. Let's unlock the cloth gloves, the boots, and the hat. Get that going real quick. Now let's see what we want to craft next. Uh, I'm thinking the spear. We're going to need some protection. So we need fiber and flint. And flint you get by just hacking rocks. Now there's... Once you get the, the actual axe made and the pickaxe, one is better at harvesting stone than the other. The, now the pickaxe, the one I have here, is better at harvesting uh, flint. It'll harvest stone, but it's better at harvesting flint. The actual axe, the, the like the fire axe kind of thing, is better at harvesting... Um, and it, it's better at harvesting thatch, too, if you saw. It's better at harvesting hats. So this is for flint and thatch. Your actual fire axe that I'll make here in a minute is better at craft harvesting wood and stone. So what do we need? I just already forgot. Uh, all right, we have enough to make the uh, stone. Let's make the stone hatchet. We'll get that crafted. And then we need some fiber. We just got to walk around. And now, to pick up fiber, your hands got to be free. You can also have a torch in your hand if you want. But your hands have got to be free. So hit Y... Let's grab some more fiber. And let's make a spear. So, right trigger. We can also make a hat. Let's make that real quick. So, I'll also show you. If you just hit A, you can go down here. You can choose what slot you want it to go into. So, I didn't mean to put it in that one. Let's move that over. So, now we have a, a hatchet. And we have a spear, too. And I'm gonna, I'll just go down and I'll choose the next slot. Boom, there we go. So this one, like I said, this hatchet is better for harvesting stone and wood. So if you need some wood, it's better. And if you need stone, it's better too. So just remember that one is better than the other at craft at harvesting other stuff. So let's see what we want to craft next. Uh, oh, we, we crafted a hat, didn't we? So let's so you just right trigger to equip it on your head. There we go. Now let's craft some clothing. So we're gonna need more fiber. Let's let's go. Uh, we level up again too. Let's let's uh. Let's craft this stuff before we go into that, though. Let's grab some more fiber. And if you just kind of follow the engrams a little bit, it's kind of how the game guides you a little bit, is the, the engrams. Kind of, there's not really like a tutorial, but that's about the best thing we got for a tutorial. So for this stuff, we're going to need to hide. we got to kill dinosaurs for that. So let's, uh, let's put our pants on and our shirt. 
We have something now, at least. And we leveled up, so I'm gonna go... Let's go Stamina again. Actually, let's go Melee Damage. Let's do that. And now you can start unlocking the actual foundation. So let's do the Thats Foundation, the door frame, and that's all we can do. Uh, crafting a sleeping bag is pretty smart early, too. Uh, at least you'll have a place to respawn. Um, what do we got? A beaver? I'll leave you alone. I'd like to find something kind of easy to kill for some hide. There was a dodo on this island, or I'm sorry, on this far side of the island over here. Um, let's go see if he's still over there. We could use the meat and the, uh, the hide. Oh, oh boy, these little, these little guys suck. Little compies or whatever they're called. I don't know. We'll kill him, though. He wants to fight. Get your spear out, hit right trigger, and he's dead. Now, normally you want to harvest him with your hatchet, but I harvest him with my spear on accident. So we got some hide and some meat from that guy right there, and they will just come and attack you. So now we have enough to make um, our shoes, and we can make our gloves. So now that we got that hide, so let's put those on. There's our shoes, and there's our hands. There we go. And we got a little bit of raw meat, too, we can cook up now, so. And do we have a level to spend? I don't think we do. Okay, let's start, uh, let's start making a foundation then. Let's make, uh, let's make a small, we'll make six of these. So I, if you look at the top, it says I can craft all, which is four. So I'll go ahead and craft all. And we're just gonna make kind of a, a little starter base is all we're gonna do. And I think we're going to need more wood, so since we need wood, we'll grab our hatchet. And as you can see, I'm moving very slow because I'm overweight. So uh, let's go a point into weight now since we're going to be harvesting. Let's make the hide sleeping bag. Let's make the thatch ceiling and the thatch wall. There we go. I do recommend getting a storage box pretty early too. So, so deciding where you want to build... Like I said, this is the contractor islands. You don't have to build here. This is a decent island. But if if you want to get closer to where we are in the server, we're down on that beach down there, the one I'm looking at. Further down that beach is where our base is on the server. So think about where you want to build. Um, if Once you want to upgrade to stone, like a stone foundation, there's a bunch of stone over there. Ooh, that's a raptor. Oh, that's a... That's not a raptor. That's a uh, parasaur. It's a metal parasaur. Look at that guy. We might tame him in a minute here. I tell you what, I'm liking this island. Um, let's go ahead and build on this island. I'm thinking just kind of right here. Although that gator is over there, isn't he? Let's go further over here, away from the gator. Now, Steve built our base literally right underneath these uh, archways, which is a great place to build. So if you want to build there, that's that's a great, great place. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something kind of similar. I'm gonna build right here too. I think I'm gonna build closer to the beach though, about right here. So let's grab our foundations that we made, um, and you want to bring. You can hit right trigger to place if you want. You don't have to bring them down. So hit right trigger to place. Here they are, and hit right trigger, and it's gonna let you rotate them now if you want. So you can rotate them. I'm just gonna place them down because they're good. Very fast way to upgrade that beaver. What are you doing, dude? Beaver just walked over it. I guess he approves, I guess. Um, let's grab some more wood. We're going to need some wood. So use the uh, the hatchet for that. Let's see if we can craft some more foundations. It'll tell you what you need. So I need more fiber to make more foundations. So let's... Uh, name of the game is harvesting. So if you don't have harvesting turned up, like I said, this becomes a very slow process. So let's grab a whole bunch of fiber. And go to our crafting screen, and let's make uh, let's make two more. And then we'll place these down. I'm just gonna make a six by six, kind of a basic, just uh, base. And once you place these down, and when you get wood unlocked, you can automatically unlock wood. So, and, or I'm sorry, you can automatically upgrade to wood, basically. So, this is a decent little, just kind of small, and you can expand this, you know. Uh, let's put up some, uh, let's put up some walls. I can craft two. Let's craft those. This beaver is really checking me out. 
And what do I need to make craft more? Let's go look at walls. I'm gonna need some thatch. So let's put these two down. And think about where you're gonna put your doors and your windows too. Keep that in mind. So thatch, we're gonna need the pickaxe. And so just go up to a tree. And we're gonna hack down this tree with our pickaxe. And we're gonna get a bunch of thatch from that. Not a lot of wood, but a lot of thatch. Okay, and we can make uh, eight more walls. I'd like to make... Let's make two door frames, and we'll place down our doors. I'd like to unlock the windows before I get too crazy. Okay, so we'll put a door frame... Um, let's put one right here. And right here. And we got another level spin, so we should be able to unlock the windows now so let's go to let's go back to melee damage and let me find the windows and i'm not seeing maybe there isn't a thatch window i thought there was but uh that's okay we'll when we get to wood we'll make a wood window so let's do a thatch door and storage box perfect and we'll just make some more walls i guess now i do recommend making these walls pretty tall if you can so let's go ahead and make as many walls as we can. The reason I say that is because there's storage boxes later on in game that are pretty tall. So just keep that in mind. Let me uh, grab these walls. And sometimes if you're having a problem like this where you have to go back and eat, hit right trigger each time, you can place these down in your hot bar if you want. I'm not, just because I don't like putting in my hotbar. I don't like it taking up that space. Okay, our initial walls are done, so what I do is I go one more higher. I try to, I try to make these a little higher. Now, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it does use a lot of resources. But I'm gonna, I'm planning for a later game, is what I'm doing. So, to make some more walls, we need fiber and thatch, and we probably could use some more wood, too. Before we get too crazy, though, what do we need for a storage box? Let's make one of those. We need uh, we need everything. Fiber, wa thatch of woods. Let's let's go on the hunt for all that stuff. We'll grab some fiber. And you're also picking up a lot of berries too by doing this. And then we'll let's grab some thatch. This tree here. And then we'll grab some wood. Grab out your hatchet. Now, there's going to be a pretty good chance early game you're going to be encumbered. Pretty pretty well encumbered, so try to stick close to your base. See, I'm encumbered now, so I'm moving super slow. This is where a storage box comes in handy, because you can start, you can dump everything into a storage box when you're just kind of close, harvesting. So, just put a storage box down, and you can dump, like, especially stone. Stone is very heavy. Let's go ahead and make a storage box. There it is, and we'll just put it right here, and we have that down. We leveled up again. Let's put something into that. Let's go. Um, let's go. Wait, since we're struggling with that right now. Wooden sign. I'm not a big fan of that. Slingshot's pretty good. There's the Fioma saddle. They're kind of the the big hog thing looking. And there's the, here's here's a. Uh, sloped walls you can unlock these if you want uh i'm not and you can make i mean you can make stuff look pretty good if you want so we'll unlock the oh, i don't have enough to unlock that i thought i had enough my bad so let's continue making some walls then we can make uh 10 more walls let's just uh let's craft five um, actually, let's just craft all ten. Why not? We can always throw them in storage if we need. So since it's taking forever to craft, I'm going to bring this down to my hotbar. Right there. And then it'll go straight to my hotbar now. So. See, they just go straight to your hotbar now. So when they get crafted, you can just grab it. That sounds big. What is that? That's a Triceratops. Okay. Pretty harmless. Do not pick a fight with them early, though. That's an easy way to die. Very easy way to die. Okay, our walls are up. Now, I highly recommend making a hide sleeping bag if you can. I don't have enough hide yet. We need to grab some more, but that at least lets you respawn back at the base here when, when you die. So let's make... Uh, we can make one door... 
Let's put that down right there, and we need to make one more door. Now, thatch isn't going to hold up very much. We just need a little bit of fire. We don't need a... Thatch, is, thatch walls aren't going to hold up very well against most dinosaurs, but it does give you a little protection. Um, I feel like this, they don't see you as bad at night. They won't come like may visit you, maybe. Let's make another door. And then we'll put this guy down here. Now we have some doors. So, I do recommend maybe putting some stairs in here, but right now we're just going to jump up. So, we have that down. So, let's go ahead and work on the roof now. And what's nice about building a big base like this, too, is it's going to... Um, it's going to level you up really fast. So here's your storage. You hit um, Y to access inventory or X, whatever you want. Y or X. Let's put the wall in there to help out with our space a little bit. And we have a bunch of stuff we can throw in there. I just recommend keep an eye on your um, storage. We have some spoiled meat you can throw in there. Um, keep, keep an eye on your weight. It does sneak up on you pretty bad. We have some stone here. I'm going to throw that in storage just because it's so heavy. But at least we know where it's at. And I don't have any levels to use, so let's go try to see if we can find some more hide real quick. I'd really like to make a sleeping bag. There's a turd here. Uh, everybody poops, including you. You can pick that up if you want. It's good for making fer You can use that as fertilizer. Put it straight into something as fertilizer. So uh, let's go. We might have to go to that other island over there. There's usually some dodos over there that we might go see. I did unlock the slingshot. Correct. Uh, so I can make the slingshot. We need hide to make it. We can tame a we can tame a turtle pretty early. The only reason I, reason I recommend taming a turtle easy is it does help a little bit with the base defense. If you get visited, oh I hear you. There you are. We got some dodos here. Let's uh let's murder them. Sorry guys. Got a little bit of hide from that. You can also throw it if you want. Left trigger throws it. So this will let me kind of grab some more hide and meat this way. I'm using the hatchet. So a little bit better. There's one more dodo. He's running away. He saw me murder his family. So let's grab him. Oh, I missed. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry. I know you're completely defenseless. Now, when you're doing this, there's keep an eye on what's going on around you here, because I've died several a time. There is something down there. I, so that little dinosaur, right? That one next to the turtle. Those are I forgot what they're called, but they're the one I call them thieves, because they steal stuff in your inventory. Um, so keep an eye on those guys. So we might have enough hide now to um, let me see to make the yeah. Let's make the sleeping bag. That's a definite must. And we can also make the slingshot. Let's make that too. And we have another skill point to use. I'm going to go into wait again because it's just early game. It is so hard to deal with it. Let's do a sloped roof. And the mortar and pestle is a very good one to unlock early. That's how you make your narcotics. And you can start making narcotics pretty early if you want. So let's get that unlocked. And let's go lay down this sleeping bag. That way if I die... Um, I have a way to uh, come back. Or I have a place to come back, at least, I should say. I'll shut my door so the dinos don't visit me. Let's lay down this um, sleeping bag that we crafted. And it's a one-time... Sleeping bags are one-time use. You get one use out of them. So let's place it... Let's place it right here. And say so if you need to rotate it, you can. Um, I'm going to put mine like that. There we go. Now the slingshot, I'm going to bring down to a uh, slot where the walls were. Replace that. And you just need stone. That's all you need. So we'll mess around with that a little bit. It's not the most useful thing in the entire game, but it is nice early game. It is nice to use early game. Okay, so we need to craft some ceilings. So let's, uh, let's do that. Um... I crafted a couple slope ceilings, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I need something to stand on to place those down. We're just going to use regular ceilings. Let's go there. Let's go uh, thatch ceiling. We need thatch and fiber. I think we have plenty of wood. So let's go grab some thatch and fiber. 
grab some fiber right here. Hi, buddy. I'll leave you alone. You leave me alone. Be great. Okay, let's see how many ceilings we can make now. Uh, we can make... We can make 12. Let's start with 5. Let's see how far 5 gets us. I'm gonna bring these down to the hot bar down there. Now, once you get to the X right there, you have to hold LB to get to that other side of the hot bar. At the bottom, you can kind of see the LB. Hold LB and X to unlock the uh, ceiling. It looks like we need... Oh, I put that down in the wrong place. Um... Let's get rid of that. And unfortunately, I can't pick that one up. It's I'm just not... Uh, that's the only problem with building such a high ceiling. Um, you can kind of see. It's not letting me pick it up. So so what we'll do is we'll we'll make it work. Um, it's kind of like having a little porch kind of thing. So we'll make five more just to have. What we'll do is we'll just make a match. We'll just do something like this. There we go. And then that's kind of how you make a little porch. I made an accidental porch kind of thing. So where's my door? There it is. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, that's how you kind of make a little accidental porch. That's kind of ugly. We'll, we'll probably, we'll, what we'll do is we'll make this uh, match. We'll make the ceiling come all the way around like that. We'll make it match. But hey, we have shelter and we have a triceratops trying to come in too. So, okay. So next thing we'll do is we'll craft a campfire. I should have done that a little earlier, but we have so much we're, else we're working on. So... It's right here, and we just need some stone. We have some stone in storage right here, so let's grab that out. And we actually have a skill point to use, too. Let's go into stamina. And let's go... Let's get narcotic unlocked. And... Simple bed. Good one to unlock. So that, that one's permanent. You can use that as many times as you want. So we'll definitely get that crafted, too. Let's get the uh, campfire crafted. There she is. We'll put it down. Um, we'll put it down right here. I'd like to keep the storage kind of open over here if we can. So, and this is actually pretty easy to use. You just throw your uh, raw meat in there and you grab some wood. I have four pieces right here. That's perfect. You throw raw meat and wood and you just hit light fire and it automatically cooks your uh, meat. So, so when you come to an item, you can, if you look at the top, it says split half or split one. So, Let's split a couple more pieces of wood and we'll throw those in there. It automatically goes in there. So we have six pieces of wood. That's going to cook for a while. Next, I'd like to make the mortar and pestle. Let's get that down. So we're going to need a uh, stone. So we're going to need to harvest some stone. So like I said, the hatchet is the best to harvest stone. Now, some of these you can't, you can't harvest. Like that one you can't harvest right there. So let's go see if we can harvest this one right here. Yes, we can. So use the hatchet to get the stone. We got 75 stone there. And let's get the mortar and pestle laid down. Craft that. And simple bed, we need thatch, hide, and fiber. So we're going to need some more hide for that. There's our mortar and pestle. We'll get this down. Um, I'll put it right here. Now, I do recommend making tables and stuff like that. You'll want to make tables. Right now, that's fine. Just as a starter. That's totally fine. So what you want to do is you want to access this and you want to throw, if you have any spoiled meat, and throw your narco berries in there too. And so you go to consumable. I click on consumables, drugs. There's narcotic right there. And we can actually make, um, I'm going to craft one. We can get that crafting now. All we need is spoiled meat in there now. So once we kill some more things, we just and you just throw your raw meat in there and it will spoil automatically in there. So we have one narcotic. That's pretty good for day one. So, all right, well, let's grab some more stone and let's, uh, let's try to tame a dino. Let's get our first one tamed. I'll grab some more stone right here. And we leveled up again. Let's go, um, let's go stamina. I feel like we're going to need that for this. All right, and we'll unlock standing torch is a good one to have, and spyglass is really great. That's how you're going to spot dinosaurs for far away, especially carnivores. Oh, the wooden club. That's a good one to have, too.
good good things to unlock. So let's grab the slingshot. About the only time you're going to use the slingshot. And I don't recommend doing this a lot. Uh, let's see what level she is. She's a level 2. This will be a pretty decent tame. So right trigger on the slingshot. You can aim too if you want. Hit her right in the face. And you're going to do this a lot. And she's going to get close. Don't get backed into a rock like that. Oh, she's going away. Oh, I thought she was going away. When they go away, they're they're almost tamed. When they start running away. It's almost like they go like hysterical almost, but keep hitting her in the face. Come on, baby. Go down. There she goes. See she's going the other way now? She's about ready to be tamed. Keep hitting her in the face. There she goes! We got her. That didn't take very long at all. So now, you gotta put berries in her. Now, Mayho berries, these purple ones right here, are the best to tame dinosaurs. Let's just put them all in her. And she's taming at 0%. So, there we go. And uh, so she'll start taming here pretty, pretty soon. Now, different dinos take different things. So, to, um, to tame. And so you might have to Google some of these to see which one takes takes what. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, Google might be your best friend to uh, to do this. So we'll kind of let her uh, tame for a minute. Now, unconsciousness, that purple bar is going down. The only way to get that back up is to put narcotic in their inventory. And then you'll go over here and you'll force feed the. You'll push right trigger and you'll force feed them to eat the narcotic. Now, she's not going to need that. She's going up pretty quick. So... Let's um, see what else we got here. We can make a wooden club. Let's make the wooden club. Now, I'd like to have Bolas before I tame this guy here. I do want to tame this guy, though. But let's uh, let's get... There's our club. Let's bring that down. Right here. And let's... Uh, I'll just drop this ceiling. I don't really need that. Now you can tame this person with a, with this dino with a slingshot, but it's they they get pretty fast. They can run away pretty quick. You also do want to kind of stay near your dino a little bit because um, dilos dinosaurs, the ones that spit, are really notorious for coming over and stealing your uh, tame, and they'll eat it. So be careful about that. Uh, about anything will come over and steal it. So just keep an eye on it. You can harvest stuff if you want to. Uh, my inventory is pretty pretty high right now though, so I'm not gonna do that. But all right, it is tamed, and I keep calling it a her. I don't know if it's a male or female. Let me look real quick. It is a male tribe of human. That's my name. <laughs> That's funny. I'm actually playing on my daughter's account because uh, because my other accounts are already taken. So if you want to rename them, hold Y, go to options, change name. We'll name this one Spanky. How about that? It's a good name. It'll let you. Spanky the turtle. Okay, and so if you hold um, hold B, this is all your commands. You can make them poop. You can do emotes. Uh, but whistle, whistle one will have this one follow you. You can do whistle stop all, whistle stop one. Uh, you can do whistle neutral. We'll keep them neutral basically unless they're attacked. Um, passive is kind of like, passive is very like, chill. Neutral is more like if you're attacking something, they'll come help you. Uh, you can tell them to attack a target. And you can do aggressive. Which means they'll basically they'll be, they'll be pretty damn aggressive. So let's bring them over here, Spanky. Come over here. And you can bring her with you. Bring him with you on your adventures for a little bit of protection, but I prefer them for base protection. Especially over here where a crocodile might come. So let's pull you right here. Let's do whistle stop. Now you want to keep an eye on the inventory. So hit X. Make sure they have mayo berries. She's got 36. So she'll eat those. So just make sure to um, uh, keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the on the, on the uh, um, food. My gosh, I can't talk all of a sudden. Okay, I'd really like to make a simple bed now. We're going to need some hide. Quite a bit of hide. So let's go on the hunt for some hide. 
Um, we can also try to tame... <clears throat> what level is this metal parasaur? Ooh, what, is, what is this over here? That's gotta be... Is that one of the Triceratops? Yeah, that's Triceratops. Uh, you can try... Uh, these guys are good to tame, too, for a, a flying dinosaur. They don't have a lot of weight. Don't have a lot of weight at all. So... Let me see if we can find some more hide, or maybe that parasaur. We got some dodos over there. We also have... Oh, there's a lot going on over there. Not sure I want to get involved in that. Uh, let's go check it out. We got a... Man, I hate to bring on a raptor. We have a dodo right here. What is this thing here? Is that a dilo, or is that a... That's a dilo. Um... Let's take him on. They like to spit, so keep moving. Keep moving left and right. There we go, we got him. Make sure there's nothing else coming. Uh, yes, yeah, so when you when their batteries spit, try to move left or right so that you don't get their spit. We got 22 hide. Where'd that dodo go? I'd love to grab, grab him. Okay, as you can see, I'm starving now as my guy is grunting real bad. Um... I have some berries I can eat. Let me eat. Let me eat these ten berries right here. That might help out a little bit. Dodos over here. So dodos are pretty, pretty. I say easy to tame. They can run away. Grab your wooden club, smack them in the face. It's pretty hard for them to get get away. He's gonna. He's probably gonna get stolen. I would I would almost assume. Hit X. And I don't have any Mayho berries, so you can use any other berry if you want. I have um I have a bunch of these red berries. Let's split half and split half of that, and let's give him 24 of that. Do that. So he's he's already tamed. I named all my dodos Greg. That's just what I do. I like to have an army of Gregs. So here's Greg. And I see a pork chop over here. I call these pork chops. I really don't know what they're, what they're called, but they're great for hide and meat. So let's go grab this guy. Greg might even help us kill him, maybe. Oh, my, uh, my spear broke. Let's make another one. And I am not doing so hot. Um, we better... We'll let him go. Yeah, we got a compy right here. Um, let's get some... What is that noise? Well, I'll tell you what, I better get back and eat some food because I am hurting pretty bad. This is what's nice to have a torch. You can still, I can't see squat. Here's the torch. Let's go ahead and craft a torch. Since I can't see anything at all, and I'd like for you guys to be able to see what the heck I'm doing. Let's bring that down uh, on the Y slot. You know what? That's a standing torch I crafted. Ha! That's great. All right, whatever. Let's go over here. Let's light this torch. You gotta throw wood in it. There we go. That's our standing torch. Here's our campfire. Let's grab what we have. We have some spoiled meat in there and some charcoal. Grab that out. Let's put some more wood in there. And my guy is, like, dying, pretty much. Let's eat some food. There we go, buddy. You can stop complaining now. Holy moly. Eat two to three at a time is what I normally do. And just kind of watch your food go up. That way you don't overeat, so you waste it. Um, to regain health, it is food. So, um, if you're hurting on health, eat some food. You'll regain health slowly. So let's shut this door. Is that Greg? Where you at, Greg? There's Greg. Hey, buddy. You can hang out here, okay? Whistle stop. There's the torch. Top left. We need a little bit of wood. Let me grab uh, just a little bit of wood before we close this thing out. Real quick. What level are you, buddy? Level 32. Yeah, he's a decent level for me. Let me grab some wood. Oh, I grabbed thatch on accident. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. I had the wrong tool out. Yeah, it's so hard it is to see at night. I know you guys can't see anything, probably. 
Okay, let's make that torch. Okay, we'll bring that down to... Uh, I'll bring that down to B. There we go, we got a torch. Now we can see. Alright, guys, well, this is a pretty good start. We have, um... Decent... Uh, let me see if I have any... Do I have any more? I have some raw meat. Let me throw this in the mortar and pestle. We'll throw that in there. We also have some spoiled meat. We should be able to make some more narcotics. To go to drugs, narcotic, we can make three. Get narcotics crafting as fast as you can. They're going to be nice to have. Especially the more you want to... More dinosaurs you want to tame. And you can make trank arrows. Early is really good. There's some charcoal we'll throw in there. Help our space a little bit. I'm going to throw this stone in there too because I have so much. So that's a good start, guys. We have a base built. Um, do we have any more levels to use? Nope. We have tranks going. We have two dinosaurs tamed. Um, and what we're going to do is just kind of continue... Uh, oh, one other thing I'll mention too, guys. Sorry, is check your dinosaurs. If they have an arrow with them, they're, they're ready to level up. This one has a... So hit X, one skill point. So let's go um, melee damage for Spanky. All right, so what we're looking forward to... And Oh, I'm sorry. If you hit B and then start, it brings up your engram. So if you want to look at them. So what I'm looking for next most likely are the bolas. So I think it might be the next level. That will tie up the dinosaurs and allow you to smack them in the face or hit them with arrows. Right below that is the bow and the stone arrow. And then further down will be the trank arrows. So, and then we got the wooden foundations that we'll upgrade our base to. So we'll do that in the next episode of this tutorial. If you guys want to see anything else or anything else you guys want to see, let, you know, if anything you want me to cover, let me know. <clears throat> Your best friend is just Google, man. If you if you're like, what is a Fioma? What is uh, what is that? Just Google it. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing. But <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a carp there's a Carbia saddle right there. Uh, there's a farm plot. I have some seeds I can use. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it here. We'll pick things up tomorrow and we'll do some more stuff. See you later. Bye.